Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome back to Creative Grandma. This is part two of the crochet tutorial for the antique Christmas afghan. So if you watched part one, you have all your blocks made. So for part two, I'm going to show you how to assemble your blocks and then put the afghan border on our afghan. So let's get started. So now since you have all 24 blocks made, we're going to start putting our blocks together and joining our blocks. So first I'm making mine four blocks across by six rows long. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with one block and we're going to attach three more blocks for a total of four blocks across. And then we're going to do that a total of six times so first you want to take two blocks it doesn't matter which two they're all alike so we're going to take and lay them right sides facing so here's our first block here's our second block both are right side facing you're just going to take one of the blocks and flip it over on top of the other one so now your right sides are together and your wrong side is facing. Now I didn't weave in my ends yet. I'll do that when the afghan is all finished and show you how it looks when it's completely done. So what you want to do is because we are putting these sideways, you must crochet across the side here of the block. So when you flip that block over, just put your hook down in the bottom right hand corner and you're just going to swing your block around because you need to go sideways and have all your blocks going in the right direction. So I have my yarn attached to my hook and you can use whichever way you prefer to join your yarn. You're going to pick up your two blocks. Again, you're starting in that bottom corner and you're just going across the side of the block. We're going to start by joining our yarn into the first chain of that corner chain two. So insert into that first chain, insert it into the matching chain below, and then we're just going to slip stitch through those two chains and through the loop on the hook, and that secures your yarn. You're going to chain one, insert back into that first chain, match it up to the chain below, work a single crochet. You're going to insert into the very next chain of that corner chain two space, match it up to the second chain of the corner chain two in the square below work a single crochet now we're just going to match our stitches insert into the next stitch and what you're doing is you're going into that front loop facing you just in that top front loop of the top block but when you go into the bottom block you want to go into the back loop and this creates a beautiful ridging on the front of your work work a single crochet find your next stitch insert into the front top loop just that one loop only match it up to the first stitch of that cross stitch in the block below and go into the back loop work a single crochet find your next stitch insert into the front top loop only match it up to the second stitch in that cross stitch below insert into the back loop work a single crochet Let's do it a couple more times. You're going to insert into the top front loop of the next stitch, match it up. We're in the first stitch of that cross stitch, so you want to be in the first stitch of the cross stitch below. Insert into the back loop. Work a single crochet. Insert into the front loop of the next stitch, match it up to the stitch below, and go into the back loop. Work a single crochet. So you're just going to repeat that into the front loop of the next stitch, match it up to the back loop of the stitch below, work a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat one single crochet in each stitch across to the corner, working into the top front loop of the next stitch, matching it up to the stitch below and going into the back loop and working a single crochet. So repeat that across and I will meet you at the corner chain two and show you how to finish joining your block. 
I just single crocheted starting into the first chain of the corner, worked in both of the corner chain two spaces, and single crocheted in each stitch across. And when you get to the next corner of your block, working down that side of your uh, block, you're going to come to your next corner chain two. We're going to insert into that first chain one space of the corner, insert into that next chain, match it to the chain below, work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain, match it to the chain below, work a single crochet. Our block is joined together so now we're going to fasten off and I like to leave a little bit longer length because I'm going to be using a yarn needle to weave in all these ends and if you get that end of your yarn too short then it's really hard to maneuver this yarn through those stitches because it's a loose stitch and you want to go into the back and underneath some of these stitches bring it back and if you have enough yarn take it through a third time. So if you have this really short you can't even maneuver it with the yarn needle. So try to remember that when you're fastening off. Leave a nice size length because it's better to trim this than it is to have it too short and have a miserable time weaving in those ends. So let me open up our block. So when you open up your block, you can see it creates this beautiful ridging by going into the front loop of the top stitch and the back loop. It opens it up and it just lets it lay nice and flat and you get this beautiful subtle ridge down your block. So that is how you join your blocks. So our two blocks are joined together. So now what you want to do is you're going to join two more blocks to this set of two. You're going to take your next block and you're just going to put it right beside the two that you have joined together, butt it right up. And it doesn't matter which side. If you want to choose where you fastened off and have them all at the top, then that's fine. So go ahead and butt that up and you're going to flip it over. And then you're going to click back on the video and you're going to follow how I started in the corner chain two. Follow it up and end after you work that chain two of the corner. Exactly the same for joining all your blocks. Once you get that third block done, then you need to put a fourth block onto that panel. So you're going to join the fourth panel in the same way. Once you have your three blocks put together, then you're going to line up your fourth block, right sides facing, flip it over, and crochet down the end. So when you're finished, you're going to have one block by four blocks long. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting my other two blocks together, and then I'll be back and we'll continue. I'm back. I have my four blocks crocheted together so I have one block and then it's four blocks wide. So once you get your panel formed together with one by four blocks across, you're going to repeat that until you have six panels or however many rows you want to make. So once you get your panels done, then we're going to join our panels together. So in order to attach your second panel, you're just going to lay your first panel right side facing. You're going to take your second panel and put it right beneath that and you're going to line up your blocks. So now since we have our panels aligned, you're just going to take your top panel and you're just going to flip it over on top of your bottom panel. And then you're all ready to start in the top right hand corner. The wrong side will be facing, your right sides will be together. So I already have my yarn attached to the hook and we're going to join into the first chain of the corner chain two space. Insert into that first chain, insert into the first chain in the panel below and slip stitch through those stitches and through the loop on your hook and this just creates a nice secure join. You're going to chain one and you're going to insert back into that same chain space and single crochet. You're going to insert into the next chain of that corner chain two, match it up to the next chain of the corner chain two in the panel below, 
work a single crochet. So now we're going to go into the first stitch going across our panel. You're going to go into the top loop. You're going to match it up to the first stitch in the panel below and you're going into the back loop and then work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through both stitches, yarn over and pull through two. We're going to insert into the front loop of the next stitch, that top front loop, match it up to the stitch below and go into the back loop. Work a single crochet. So front loop on top of the next stitch, back loop in the matching stitch below, work a single crochet. Exactly is how you put your blocks together. Again, you're going to go into the top front loop of the next stitch, match it up to the stitch below and go into the back loop, work a single crochet. Front loop of the next stitch, match it up to the stitch below and go into the back loop, work a single crochet. Insert into the front loop of the next stitch, back loop of the stitch below that matching stitch, work a single crochet. So go ahead and work your single crochet in each stitch. You're working through both thicknesses, matching those stitches, and I'll meet you when you get to your joining seam. I'm over to my first joining seam. I worked one single crochet in each stitch across. You're going through both thicknesses. So when you get to the joining seam, you will notice that you worked a single crochet into that last double crochet of the current block. So let me zoom right up. So here is the last double crochet of the current block and when you get to the joining seam you're going to notice that there's an opening here where that corner of this current block is. We're just going to go up to the top and you'll see that here is your joining seam. It's raised of where we did those single crochet and you have a piece of yarn right here on the right side and the left side of that joining seam. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going underneath that piece of yarn on the side of the joining seam, but we're going to come down and catch another strand of yarn. You want to make sure you have two strands of yarn and then match it to the one below. You're just going right on the side and grab that extra strand of yarn underneath that top strand. Work a single crochet. You're going to skip the raised joining seam and you're going to go into that next strand of yarn. There's no stitches. It's right above the opening here. You want to grab the second strand of yarn. You're going between the second and third. So you want to have two strands of yarn and then you're going to match it to the strand on the bottom. So there's your joining seam. Here's your first stitch. You're going right above that opening and go in between the second and third strand of the yarn. So you have two strands of yarn. Work a single crochet. And that's how you do your joining seam. And then you're just going to start all over again and single crochet in each stitch across to your next joining seam and repeat what I just showed you to do that joining seam. If you need help, just click back on the video and then you can repeat across. Repeat that across your remaining blocks until you get to the ending corner chain two space at the end of your panel. I'll meet you there and show you how to finish joining your panels. And when you get to the next corner, we're going to insert into that first chain one space of the corner insert into that next chain, match it to the chain below, work a single crochet. Insert into the next chain, match it to the chain below, work a single crochet. So now we're going to fasten off So I have all my panels put together. So here is the main portion of the afghan and this is as far as my viewfinder zooms out. So the whole afghan, all the rows are put together. So now we're getting ready to start our afghan border. So we're going to be using the white gold and we're going to be starting in the top right corner 
on the narrow side so you should have four blocks across to start your border and again we're starting in the top right corner so I'm getting ready to start the afghan border again we're using the cream gold I'm going to start in the corner chain two space and I already have a loop tied around my hook I'm just going to bring that loop through the chain two space and yarn over and pull through that loop it just creates a nice secure join to my yarn. We're going to begin and we're going to chain one. We're going to work one half double crochet, so yarn over, insert back into that corner chain two, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now the chain one does not count as a stitch. You're going to chain two, and work one more half double crochet into that same chain two space. Yarn over, insert into that corner chain two, work a half double crochet. So when we're working our border, we're going to be working half double crochet stitches in the corners, the outside corners, and double crochet stitches on all the other stitches. So now we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across your block until you get to this joining seam. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert under the top two loops of that first stitch, making sure you get under both loops, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next. So go ahead and continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your joining seam and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first joining seam. We worked one double crochet in each stitch across that first block. And now when you come to the joining seam, you're going to see these open spaces, one on each side of this joining seam. We're just going to work one double crochet on each side of that joining seam in those open spaces. Yarn over, insert into that open space on the right side of the joining seam, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the open space on the left side of the joining seam, work a double crochet. So that is how we're going to work around our afghan, working one double crochet in each stitch and each open space on each side of the joining seam and then we're going to work that across to the next outside corner. So let me get you started again. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. You're just going to repeat what I just showed you. You're going to double crochet in each stitch across until you come to that next joining seam, and I'll meet you there. I'm over to my next joining seam. We worked across the top two blocks. We worked one double crochet in each stitch across, and now we're over to our next joining seam. So let me zoom up and I'll go over how to do that joining seam one more time. So when you get to your joining seam, you should have one double crochet into the last double crochet going across that current block. And then you're going to see these open spaces on each side of this joining seam. We're going to work one double crochet on each side of this joining seam in these open spaces. Yarn over, insert into the open space on the right side of the joining seam, work a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the open space on the left side of the joining seam, 
can work a double crochet. Now we're just going to go ahead and you're going to repeat one double crochet in each stitch across the next block until you get to the joining seam and then you're going to repeat one double crochet on each side of that joining seam and then you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch until you get to the next outside corner and I'll meet you there. Now if you need help to finish working across the top of the afghan, you can click back on the video and you can click back on the video as many times as you need to work across each block and we're going to repeat this around the entire afghan. So go ahead and work across to that first outside corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round one of our afghan border and now we're getting ready to join. So when you get to the end of round one you're going to have a double crochet stitch into that last stitch around and then you're going to have your half double crochet chain two half double crochet into your corner. So we're going to go ahead and fasten into the top of that beginning half double crochet. So remember that chain one does not count as a stitch. You're going to insert under the top two loops of that first beginning half double crochet and then slip stitch. So we are finished with our white gold. I'm just going to fasten off and then we have one round to go and we're going to end our border with red. We're going to use that red gold. So I'm going to grab my red gold and I'll be right back and we'll get our last round started. So now I'm getting ready to start round two, the final round of our afghan border. So first we're going to go up and we're going to start in the first stitch of the corner. We're not starting in the chain two space. We're going up here into that first stitch and we're going to join our new color with the slip stitch. So I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You're going to insert into the top stitch, the very first stitch and you're going to slip stitch through the stitch and through the loop on your hook and this just creates a nice secure join of your yarn. Just make sure that's nice and snug and you're going to chain two. One, two. Now this beginning chain two is going to count as half of our double crochet two together so it's counting as the first double crochet stitch leaving the last loop on the hook and this first stitch made of the border will be worked differently than the rest of the stitches. So now we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch leaving the last loop of that stitch on our hook. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook yarn over, pull through two loops only. So you made your double crochet leaving the last loop on your hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all two loops which creates our first two double crochet together creating one stitch. Now we're going to make a picot stitch of a chain three. One, two, three. You're going to bring your hook around to the front of your work and you're going into the top of the two double crochet together so right into the top where those two stitches meet and you're going in the front loop top to bottom through that front loop and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. So now we're going to start the repeat and you're going to work this all the way over to the next corner. We're going to double crochet two together over the next two stitches and then you're going to work your picot stitch. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two loops only. You're going to leave the last loop on your hook. We need to do that again. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. 
you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops only. So when you look at your work, you have your loop from that was on your hook previously, and then you work two double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook before you finish that stitch. You have three loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. We're going to work our pico stitch, chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to bring your hook back around to the front of your work, insert from top to bottom through the top of those two stitches where they join together as one, and slip stitch. And that is the end of the repeat, and that's how we're going to work our stitches across the top of the afghan. So let's work that a couple more times together. We're going to double crochet two together across the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, and you're leaving two loops on the hook. You made your first double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook, and you do not finish the stitch. We need to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook and you do not finish that stitch. When you look at your work, you're going to have three loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now we're going to make our pico stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work and insert from top to bottom through the front loop of where the two double crochet stitches meet as one and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Your pico stitch is made. So let's do it again. We're going to work two double crochet together across the next two stitches and then our pico stitch. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. When you look at your work, you're going to have three loops. You can see you made two double crochet, leaving the last loop of that stitch on your hook. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. We're going to make our pico stitch next. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. Bring your hook back around to the front of your work. Insert from top to bottom through the front loop where those two stitches join together as one and slip stitch. And that's all there is to doing this stitch pattern across the top of your afghan. So if you need help, just click back on the video. Again, you're going to double crochet two together across the next two stitches and then work a pico stitch and repeat that across the top of your afghan to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner. I just worked across the top of my afghan and this is what it looks like. Let me hold it up a little bit so you can see better. It looks a little like a picket fence. <laughs> so now I'm over at my first corner and I'm going to show you how to do the corner. So when you get to the corner, you should have ended with your repeat with the two double crochet together in those last two stitches before the corner chain two and then a pico stitch. So to work the corner, we're going to work two double crochet and a pico stitch two times into this corner chain two space. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain two and work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain three, bring your hook around and slip stitch into that top loop of the last stitch worked. And now we're just going to do that again. Yarn over, insert back into the corner chain two space, work two double crochet. One and two. You're going to chain three for your pico stitch. 
come back around and slip stitch into the front loop of the last double crochet made. And that's how you do your corner. Two double crochet, a picot stitch, two double crochet, and a picot stitch. And that ends the repeat. And we're just going to repeat this around the remaining three sides. So I'm going to get you started around the next corner. And then you're just going to repeat two double crochet together and a picot stitch down the length to the next corner and when you get to the corner you're going to work two double crochet and a picot stitch two times in each corner chain two space around. So let me get you started. So when you start down the length you have to remember that this first stitch is kind of buried so just pull those stitches back until you see the top of that stitch very clearly. You're going to yarn over insert into that first stitch and we're going under the top two loops yarn over and pull through you have three loops yarn over pull through two loops only and leave the last loop of that stitch on your hook you're going to yarn over insert into the next stitch yarn over and pull through you now have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops only and now you have three loops on your hook and you have two double crochet where you did not finish the stitch and you have the last loop of those stitches on your hook for a total of three loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Chain three. Come back and slip stitch into the top of those stitches where they meet those two double crochet together into one stitch and slip stitch. So it's the same that you worked across the top of the afghan. You're now repeating down the length. So you're just going to repeat that. So let me do it again. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next stitch work a double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook and you just don't finish that stitch. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. You have your two double crochet leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. You have a total of three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. You're going to chain three for your picot stitch come back around and slip stitch into the top front loop of that stitch just made and slip stitch. And that's all there is to it. So go ahead and work two double crochet together over the next two stitches and then your pico stitch. You're going to repeat that down to the next corner and when you get to the corner work two double crochet a pico stitch two times in each corner chain two. If you need help, just click back on the video where I started round two and start where I make my first double crochet two together. Follow the video across and then work your corner and just repeat around the remaining sides. I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. I just worked around all four sides of my afghan. This is what your border looks like. And now we're just going to join. So let me zoom up. So when you get to the corner chain two space, you're going to end with the two double crochet picot stitch, two double crochet picot stitch worked in that corner chain two space. So now we're going to join and you're going to come up to the top of this stitch here. You have the two stitches joining together and we're just coming right to the top of this stitch here and you're going right under the top two loops of that stitch and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. I'm going to fasten off, and then I'm going to weave in my ends, and I'll be back, and I'll show you the finished afghan. Our afghan is finished. This is what it looks like. I hope everyone enjoyed the antique Christmas afghan crochet tutorial. Again, I will have the link for part one in the description box underneath this video if you missed part one. So thank you everybody for coming back time and time again to watch my channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting.